Okay, part B of October, November 2016, paper 4, variant 3. Um, this question about this ship that's falling, that's sailing from a port and past the lighthouse. Okay, um, we already found that the angle here is 131 and we were told that the B is due west of L, that's 90 degrees. So I'll just put down the information we found from part A. It says calculate the bearing of the lighthouse L from the port A. Now the bearing, now this already came up in paper two bearing, so I doubt that there will be questions in paper four, but still it's good for us to, to know in case we're not sure. The bearings are always measured from the north line and always in the clockwise direction. So the bearing of the lighthouse L from the port A is going to be the angle going from the north line all the way until it's, you're facing the north, the, the, the facing the lighthouse. Okay, so we need to find what this angle is over here. Okay, that's the angle we need to find. Um, so what we're going to do is, let's see what they told us in the question. Anything else they told us? No. That's it. No, that's all we have. So this, okay. So we got the angle 131.1, 130.1. Um, we don't have any other information about the the rest of the angles here. Okay, and we've got to find this angle on this side over here. Okay. So if I think about the whole of this angle, uh, okay, yeah, the whole of this angle here, okay, think about all of this angle here. Now, that's 130, that's 130, we don't know this angle, we don't know this angle, we need to find this angle over here. Okay, let me just do something here, let's make a north line on this side. Mm hmm okay that's 90 degrees okay so with this I can find what that angle is okay if I find what that angle is okay yes okay I've got it now actually we don't need any of that actually what we what we yes we can find this angle so tell me what this is worth four months okay good yes so now what I can do here with this is I can find what this angle is because that's 90 degrees okay and therefore, um, that angle, I can find 360 minus the sum of those two. Therefore, I can find what the angle is from here to here. Okay, that's 180 minus this. So let's start with, start off with finding this part of the angle. Let me call this angle Y here. Okay, so I can say that the angle here, all right, I'll, write, I'll just write them in this space here. That's, that's perfectly fine for you to do. I'll say that this angle here is 360 minus 90 plus 130.1 okay so 360 minus 130 plus nine, oh, sorry 130.1 plus 90 so get back to our calculator okay so you have 360 minus 90 plus 130.1 <clears throat> and that gives you 139.9 degrees so this is 139.9 degrees so therefore the angle we want here y is going to be 180 minus 139.9 because these are both north lines these are interior angles that add up to 180 see these two angles and that angle up to 360 so I can find what this is and this is 180 minus the angle. Okay, so you're going to have y is equal to 180 minus 139.9. So you're going to do 180 minus your answer, which gives you 40.1 degrees. Okay, so I know that y is 40.1. That's that part here. Now I've got to find this angle over here. Okay, so this angle over here I can find. I could use a cosine rule, but I can use a sine rule as well. I know I know this angle, I don't know the other angles, but I know all three sides, I know one angle. So I could use a cosine rule. I could say that this angle, let me call it Z. I can say sine Y, sine Z over 40 is equal to sine of 130.1 over 92.1. To use this in its more accurate form would really probably be better. So you could put 130.11 if you want slightly more accurate than we need for a final answer. 
Let me tidy that up, that looks very messy. The examiner should be able to read what you're writing. 130.11. Okay, so we can now say sine of the angle Z is equal to 40, just cross multiplying times sine 130.11 divided by 92 point, whoops, 92.11, 92.1. So then I can use my calculator and find what that is. So I can just take my calculator, which is down here, and move out the way so you can see what's going on. So I'm going to have um, shift sign, inverse sign. I put bracket. I put my fraction again. So 40 times sine 130. Point. I'll put an extra decimal place that it was before, and divided by 92.1. 92.1. First shift sign, yes I did, and of course it's still in degree mode, I didn't change that. That gives you, oops, what did I do? Let's have a look what we did wrong there. Ah, you see what I did wrong here? I didn't close this bracket here. So you've got to be very careful. Okay, I close that bracket now. Should work, yes. So, just, it's good actually for you to see some of these things that happen. 19.40, 19.400. Okay, that gives you 19.4. So, Z is 19.4. So, this is 19.40. Therefore, the bearing we want Okay, the bearing we want is 40.1 40 plus 19.4. 40 .1 okay, that gives you 59.5. So 59.5, 59.5. Now, a bearing is written with three figures to the nearest degree. So you can put 0, 6, 0 if you want to put a bearing. Okay, this is the bearing. Bearing should be written with three figures. So if our answer came out as 59.5. We have to write it to the nearest degree, which gives you 60. And we have to write it with three figures. Okay, so that should be our answer for part B. And I will do part C on the next video.